Hi guys, on this video, I'm going to tell you how to perfectly throw the left hook. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, you have to be in a proper fighting stance. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart with your non-dominant foot at front and your dominant foot should be at back. Your elbows should be close to the body and hands up by the side of your face. That's the proper fighting stance. And then lift your left elbow up and make a 90 degree angle between your forearm and bicep. And make sure that your non-punching hand should be protecting this side of the chin. And guys, when you throw the left hook, use your whole body to get behind the punch. While throwing the left hook, rotate your hips because that rotation of the hip is going to generate the maximum power possible to knock out your opponent. Because the right method is bring your right shoulder all the way back and turn your left shoulder around. Hooks are a short range circular weapon and always exhale and pivot on your front foot while throwing the left hook. Now let me show you what's the proper method. See guys, I am exhaling, I am pivoting on my front foot, I am rotating my hips, I am rotating my shoulder and my non-punching hand is close to my face at all times. Even Ryan Garcia made a big mistake while throwing that left hook, his non-punching hand was down here and that's why Gervonta Davis knocked him down in the second round. So you should always keep your non-punching hand close to your face while throwing that left hook. Guys, another thing to consider is your hand positioning. There are two ways of your hand positioning. The first one is either your palm should be facing towards you like this. And the second one is either your palm should be facing towards the floor. Because that's totally personal preference. Depends on you what you are comfortable with it. But what I recommend is if your opponent is close to you, then try to hit him with your palm facing towards you like this. But if your opponent is at a big distance from you, then try to hit him with your palm facing towards the floor because then you will hit him with those knuckle areas and try to cause the most damage possible like this. So guys, it totally depends on you what you are comfortable with it. And guys, another question is you might be thinking that why do we use hooks in our fights? Guys, sometimes it's difficult for us to land those straight punches because our opponent's guard is very tight here and there is no front opening for us to land those punches. But guess what? There are openings to the sides. And that's why we use hooks to cause the most damage possible because they are the circular weapon. So guys, that was all for today. I hope you liked my video. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel because I am going to come with the best videos possible for you guys to improve your boxing skills. Guys, see you soon in the coming video. God bless.